Hi everyone. So I'm going to dip my nails, but first I'm going to prep them by removing the cuticle like I'm doing now. And I'm not scraping, I'm just pulling off the excess that I pushed with my, with this end, the cuticle pusher. So I'm going to do this to all my nails before I begin the dip. Um, I don't know what to call it. I'm experimenting, so we will see how it comes off. So I'm going to do this to my nails, and then once I'm done, I'm going to add primer and then begin to dip. Okay, so I pushed back and then kind of pulled the excess of dead skin around my cuticles. Uh, now, I kind of buff them with the not so your not your ordinary buffer uh, just to get a smooth flat surface because I have a little bit of like looks like um, the base residue on my nail but I really don't take it all the way off sometimes and for me it's not a problem because my dips don't seem to lift or anything but if they lift for you I'll make sure you're getting all that excess um, base coat off and for this look, I am going to use Pandora Chunky Glitter and Amethyst, another Chunky Glitter. So I'll do um, three fingers with the ameth Amethyst and then two nails with the Pandora. And then I'm going to do kind of like a backwards ombre, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna use white for the rest of my nail, and then I will encapsulate everything in clear. So, yeah, let's get started, and hopefully it turns out good. Okay, so every time you dip, you wanna use thin layers, and usually I will stay away from my cuticle line but since i'm doing like this ombre look i'm just going to kind of get to as get to it as close as i can with the base coat i'm just at the tip uh, dip in there you could pour over as well if it's not like the whole so there's the beginning of it. And I'm gonna move on to oh and I'm sorry, before I started I did apply um, the nail primer and you just here I'll just show you. You just basically like put it all oh that one has a little base color. Just put it on your nails to dehydrate it like so, just to dehydrate the nail. If you don't have a nail primer, you can use alcohol or acetone. And then you just wait for it to um, dry a little bit. And then I forgot to mention, I do get like a saran wrap. You can use a, a Ziploc bag, anything so that the glitters don't get stuck to your finger. And to push them down. And I use my cuticle pusher to make sure there's nothing on the skin, like so. All right, so let's go to the second finger. And I'm just trying to get it as close to that as possible without touching the skin. And again, you can pour over. I'm just going to press it in and down. 
just to make sure it's on there. And I'm gonna push down my glitters. Like so and get my cuticle pusher. Just scrape along the edges. Take your time because I know sometimes it's kind of hard to and not and like it's kind of hard to flood or not flood the cuticle area. This one I was gonna try to do like a transition. So I'm gonna pour half. this one and then I'm gonna get Pandora for the rest of it on there so it can maybe look like it's transitioning over and we'll see how that comes out off any excess and then you're gonna have like this little shimmer that shine uh, shimmer from all the glitter Both. I'm just going to dust it off in a separate. And that one didn't really come out as much as I'd like. I think because I didn't push it in like I did the other ones. So I might just do another thin coat on it. Making sure these are flat because I don't want them to. Color. Alright. Let's pour again. it like that. I'm going to push down like an all and go in there. seconds before I brush it off. All right. Better. I have a little bit of transition on the side. And I'm going to put Pandora. And the rest of my nails. Just 
go slowly and be careful about flooding the cuticle line. Trusted cuticle, um, cupcake liner. Okay, my pinky comes out because this thing is. So little and I think majority of our pinkies are little. Good. Just push it down in there. Keep it like that. I don't think I need too much more glitter on there, otherwise it'll be super thick. This one's a little thick, but I'll file it down. Okay, so now I'm going to um, move over to the whipped cream. All right. I just shaked it, and I'm just gonna mix it around some more. Do the bottom half before I do the top half. So I'm gonna dip in there like that. Just make sure I cover it really good. And I'm just going to dip it. Do that to the rest of my fingers and then we'll come back to the thumb. All right, so here's that. And now we're gonna come back and I'm just gonna dust off the excess powder. And then I'm gonna go up a little bit further on my nail with the whipped cream. Oops. Like so. And then I'm going to dip like that. Oh, 
and cut it a little. A little bump right there. Just want to make sure there's no product on the skin. Okay. Moving on to the next finger. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get this size without having to put my finger up to my face. Kind of seeing the look I'm going for now. Hopefully it comes out the way I like it. I like to experiment with my dips. Try new things. You could do so many things with dip powder. Uh, I don't use gel because I don't use the curing lamp. Once I had um, skin cancer, I'm like, uh, what is less harmful to my skin? Alright, I'm going to finish the pinky and then I'll come back with the thumb. Okay, now we're going to try to go as, as close as we can to making it uh, all even. This part right here. Remember to always do thin layers because you could always go back and add more product, okay? So we're going to dip. Alright. So I'm like happy with that. Now we're going to go over to... This one. Just going to try to make it even. Like I said, just take your time. I have like fat corners of my fingers. I don't know why, but I do. I always have to. Let me pull it up real quick. I always seem to have to pull it up or pull it back. And dip. Alright. Just scrape the sides. right here as best as I can without touching my skin so bear with me like bring this up to my face all right I'm gonna 
dip in. And then I'm going to finish these two and we'll be back. All right, there we have it. Now I'm going to encapsulate it all in clear so I can file you down in this area more. And I'll be back with the final product. Okay, I just brushed off all the excess powder. And I'm just going to dip in the clear and do the entire nail. And just be careful and try to stay away from the side walls and cuticle line as best as you can. Oops, I got it on me. And then I'm going to cap my ends with I really like this manicure you did. I forgot how much my husband likes purple, so I figured I'd just stay with the purple theme. It looks white, but it's not, it's clear. Get some on my thumb. There we go. Now to the next nail. I noticed I got it on my skin. Right. A little cuticle pusher. It'll help me get all that extra product off. And that's what I like about our dips because they're not um, hard like acrylic, but they do the job just as well. one up to my face sorry so I'm gonna finish the rest and then I'll be back all right so I'm done with the clear and I'm going to activate file and file I'm going to activate that like so. You can kind of see it coming through, which I like. I'm going to go through it one more time. Make sure we get through all those layers and like capping my ends with it. That way the ends get. So I'm going to let that activate, and then I'm going to file and buff. Okay, so I'm going to file and buff this one nail just to show you guys. And then I'll file the rest just so I'm not taking too much, too much time.
start to file it and then see like what to see and feel what needs buffing. use my nail file with this part right here so it doesn't so I don't cut my skin with the regular file and then it feels smooth enough for you and you can buff it, but I just have a little bit more smoothing out to do. Okay, then you're going to get your buffer. And just file it all nice and down and smooth. And this helps seal everything in as well. You see how smooth it is compared to the other ones? Now I'm just going to activate and activate it one more time just because I know we filed and buffed, but I'm liking that design. So let me finish the rest and then I'll come back and show you guys. All right, I filed and buffed. And this is what I got. I'm really liking that subtle little line of bling around each nail. I'm really happy the way it turned out. So now I'm just gonna wait for the activator dry in a couple seconds. I'm going to wash my hands and then I will put top coat on. All right, I went and I washed my hands. Now let's get top coat and let's do our nails. So the first coat, it's going to be thin layer and then we'll come back with the second coat and then it'll be like super shiny after that. I always cap my ends when I'm I always cap my ends with the top coat. I do it both times. I know some people only do it once, but I like to do it a couple times. It should go slightly fast when you're doing the first. Um, but if you're like me and you kind of go slow, just make sure you're wiping your brush so that way you're not getting any like leftover residue from activator if there's any on left from after washing your hands. And just wipe it on a piece of paper towel. And you'll wait like 30 seconds or so for it to dry. And you'll know when it's dry because it'll start turning like a matte color. And that's okay. But I'm really liking this little um, back way, backwards ombre look. All right, let's go with the second and final top coat. Leave it nice 
and shiny. Try not to get it on your on your skin because the top coat is kind of like super glue, crazy glue. It'll like harden on your skin. As you can tell, I'm almost out of product here. I keep meaning to open up my new liquids, but I just want to get every single ounce of product I can before. <laughs> Try to get it as good as I can. Sides without flooding my cuticles. I was going to do one color, but I don't know. I kind of I like to be all over the place sometimes. Actually, all the time. I just like all the colors. Give me all the colors, please. Oops. And I touched right there. So. Alright. I'll lightweight for it to dry and then I'll add the cuticle oil. Let's see. All right, they're nice and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put some cuticle oil on them. My other hand too, because I usually put some on both hands daily, just to keep my, my nails healthy. I'm really happy with this Manny. And if you want more of it to show, you don't have to go as far down as I did with the white. Uh, you could try using another color. You know, like the stereo probably would have looked nice too, but since I used it on this hand, I decided I wanted to do chunky glitters because if you guys know me, I love those chunky glitters. All right. Here they are, super pretty. I don't know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend.